Hello, today I'll be covering sequential search. So essentially what sequential search is, is it searches through a list uh, sequentially and then returns the index at which it finds the particular object. So um, say for example we have, we will use a method for this. So let's just try this out. So we will have first static array called let's say num so um equals new and let's say ten let's say let's say we have ten numbers okay so num zero equals two we have nums one equals three nums two equals four. let's just use a for loop so we make this faster so uh, and then nums i equals i. Okay, so we want to find the key in sequential search. Let's find the actual value of four. So we we want to find the index at which we can find the number four. So here we have sequential search, and we want to go through this list. So four and i equals zero. I is less than nums dot length. I plus plus return and here we want to return i so if nums key if nums i equals equals key then return i so let's try this it should give no error return negative one if we do not find anything so let's do a system dot out dot print line, and this will return the index at which we find it. So for if we want to find the index of seven, okay, now let's do i times two and see if we can find anything. So we can't find anything. So essentially, how this works is it goes through the list sequentially. So if we have one, two, three, four, five, it goes at one, then it goes to two, then it goes to three. Then it goes to 4, then it goes to 5. If it doesn't find it by the end, it returns negative 1. This works on a non sorted array as well, so that's just something to point out. So, yeah, this is basically a quick video on sequential search. I hope you guys like this video. Thank